Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this core four person instant dome tent. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a nine by seven tent. Now with this and every other brand of tent, when it says four person, I always divide that by two. So this is really like a two person tent. You could certainly stack four people in these, but typically you have person and their gear will be the space of another person. So I have some other core tents. I have the regular core four person dome tent, and then I have a nine person tent, but I wanted another small small tent so I figured I'd get the instant dome tent to check it out. So inside the bag is another box. So here we have the tent. One thing I really like about these core tents is it does put the instructions in the bag so they're always with the tent. So you can see the instructions here, we're gonna unfold the legs, we'll extend them, attach the rain fly, secure the rain fly, stake out the tent, and secure the ground vents and guy lines. On the back we have frequently asked questions, and warnings and cautions, and one year warranty. So I'll go find a place in the yard and I'll set this up and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I have the main tent up now. So this bag has a patch kit. It has a little loft, I'll show that in a minute. And then we have the stakes. Here we have the rain fly. I located the C, this is the front peak. So these are going to clip down below. So what I'm going to do is I'll clip on these two and then I'll flip the thing over. So it'll be best to demonstrate. Okay, then once you have it on, you can adjust it. There are little Velcro loops on either side. Next up will be to stake it out. So I'll stake one corner and then I'll come to this corner and I'll pull it so it's tight. I'm not gonna have it super tight, but I want to straighten this out. I'll have at least one stake on each corner and then one for each guy line. And there may be some other stakes in there too. I think there's a vent on it. So I'll do that now. When you get the guy lines, they'll be like this. You'll see the knot here at the bottom. You want to pull out on this bottom loop. Like so, and then we'll put the stake in here. And then you can use this to adjust it. Okay, so the tent is up. Let's take a walk around it. So when you put the guy lines on, you want them to be at 45 degree angles or in line with the diagonal poles. Here we have an air intake. Here's the back side. Now there's no stake here or on the front. This is same as the other side. Let's go in. Here's the opening. It's short but wide. And here we are on the inside. This has a little loft, I'll put it up. So I just connected it at the four corners and in the middle, like so. You can see it's connected there. So here you can hang a lamp or a fan and you can stow things up here, small items. Like you could put your glasses or smartphone up here if you don't want them to get uh, lost amongst all your gear. Zip this up. We have windows here and here. You can roll these up and tie them off. I don't know if I'd bother doing that. These are pretty short, so you know you could tie those. And it has a little pouch here. This is another place you could put like a cell phone or glasses or things like that. And then you have the vents on the side. Now these vents are adjustable. You can pull in on the cord and there's a little clamp there to keep it closed. Needless to say, there's no seal there, but if you want to block them off a little bit, that will stop the wind somewhat. There's also storage up here. 
end up here, little pouches. So I think that went up very easily, but the question is how hard will it be to put away? So I'll do that next. So after I'm done camping, I like to vent the windows before I put the tent away. So I have the two windows vented. I'll close the door and then I'll take it down. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out all of the stakes, except for the four on the corners of the tent itself. Now I'll pull the Velcro tabs off the fly. Next, I'll unhook the fly. So when I assembled the tent, I pulled these up until these buttons popped out. So now I'll press these in on the four corners. Next, I'm going to remove the four stakes and I'll fold the corners in. I forgot to mention this feature. This has a little Velcro opening on the side that you can run an electrical cord. Now some people would scoff at electrical cord in a tent. I think it's a nice feature. Some tent sides have electrical, so you could run a fan, you could run a CPAP machine, charger phone. There are many different uses for that. And if it gets people out camping, having this kind of thing, then I'm all for it. Okay, so we have the four corners in. At this point, there aren't any real hard fast rules. We have the four corner poles and the two poles from the fly and I'll gather those up and then I'll lay it on its side and I'll kind of roll it to compact everything. Before I do that I'll get the fly folded up also so I can roll it around it. So that's the core four person instant tent. So it's very easy to put up. It's a little awkward to put away. I find that's the case with most of these instant tents, but you can see how I did it. I think this is gonna be a great tent to add to our camping gear, but that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.